Dorsey lives. <laughs> you don't look like marshals. Do you work for the Patriarch? Then my boy needs your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin, he's a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe Watkins will listen to you. I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. Austin Pease, the skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. He never wanted to hurt anyone, ever. Our family escaped the wars in the East, tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, father's son, my daughters, one by one, picked off and killed. Now it's just the two of us. And I'm gonna lose him, too. Please, help my son. The deluge of blood is coming for Dorsey you stop. all! No regret, no repentance. No mercy on... Sorry, I, I didn't... I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, a, a lot on my mind. Made a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> people here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. And the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. I should have talked to her first. We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I can't take the chance. Magistrate tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. And they're gonna let the cold do its work. I wonder if it'll hurt. Wish I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Guess I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. I'm used to hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. No, I was never no desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Nice talking to you.
We ain't gonna beg for our lives. We ain't weak like you. Howdy, Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. Which reminds me, that Dorsey you requested stand trial? <laughs> he was clearly guilty and sentenced to the pillories. A waste of my time. He did have this note, though, which you may find interesting. His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. That's the price in Colorado dollars. Understand that the law cannot wait until you have the means to pay. The boy will go to the pillar indeed. Deluge of blood is coming for you all! The deluge of blood is coming for you all! Neelius Dorsey lives! He'll kill you all! Would I even keep a shotgun around if and I don't use it? Do you know who those outlaws are, Josiah? They're Dorseys! They won't be scared of a scrawny old man. Uh, a scrawny old man with a shotgun? Uh, hang on, I'm not that old. Oh, Josiah, just put down the gun and let someone else handle this, all right? Come on, sarn it. You Dorsey peckerheads, get on out of there! Hush up now, Josiah. You can't go in there alone. They'll kill you! You think I can't handle myself? I've put down worse than these in my time. Uh, since when? You've been a shopkeeper all your life. Will you help me talk some sense into this old fool? If he goes after those Dorseys, he'll get himself killed. Finally, someone... Josiah, don't you do... Well, I'm ready when you are. Here we come, you Dorsey bastards! Shit! Hotly! 
Defenders, we thought you was all dead. Back off! I done told you! Don't come any closer! Now, just one minute, Rangers. You gonna let these bastards free? Not on my watch. Oh, fuck! Damn! Shit just got real! Phew, boy. Thanks again for taking care of... Say, if you got hurt in that scrap, you should see a friend of mine, Doc Parker. He set up a clinic in the Arapaho... And here, a little token of our... Come on back after we reopen the shop.
Marshall stop Dorsey's at Palace Gates. Patriarch alive and safe. Get your Colorado Patriot here. Hot off the press. How's it feel now? Rangers, what brings you here? Excellent. This is the cost in Colorado dollars. Perhaps so. I am not a man of business, to be sure. This is irregular, but it is within my powers to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit, you should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. How does it feel now? Extra, extra, cowardly attack on Colorado Springs. I hope you're still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life, and as and soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank you, Say thank you, thank you. Murderers! Dozens killed by Dorsey thugs. Murderers! Hostage. You rangers are Dorsey, heroes. Dorsey, stop! I'm gonna tell everyone what you did for my son. Dorsey, thank stop! You. Thank you. I hope you die slow! By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. An invitation from the head of a family or authorization from the Patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Rodmore Heights and the Patriarch's Palace. Good day. This here's Market Square. The Arapaho Garage is just outside the city gates. My old friend Doc Parker set up a clinic here. Parker's the best doctor in town. Be a hell of an asset if we can persuade him to join the Rangers. Careful, though. The Doc is prickly at the best of times. And these are not the best of times. Snapping Jimmy Bob still standing. Dorsey's or no Dorsey's. You think a little raid would stop snapping Jimmy Bob? No siree. Oh, hey, new faces. Let me know if you need to restock. I hear there's still some Dorsey's in the city. That 
that snapping, Jimmy Bob, thank you. Not that much to tell. My dad was a traitor and a good one, and now I'm a traitor and a good one. Might seem boring to wandering muscle like yourself, but I like it. Oh, that's my prized possession. A genuine pre-apocalypse fully functional microwave. I can cook up some truly gourmet delicacies with it. But the damn power got cut in the fighting. It'll take the city weeks to fix it. Let's. Take a look at what these marshals and Dorsey's got on them. Yeah, those marshals were colleagues of mine. I'm gonna guess you didn't kill them, but you need to put all those valuables back and walk away. Fat chance. We got guns and ammo now. We don't take orders from marshals no more. Taking shelter. the best way to begin an engagement.
Yeah, a friend in need. You're the best. Yeah, this whole place is a gloss. But who wants to hear all the ugly details?
Did you see the Dorsey's almost blow up the statue? Yeah, I was hiding under the bookseller's stall. Marshall stopped in the last second. Wouldn't be Market Square without it. Welcome to Mary Milk Teeth's Morning After Mart. If you did some things last night that you wish you hadn't, I got you covered. Or maybe you got banged up in the Dorsey raid. I can help with that too. Remedies for regret, children. Headache pill. Just a simple humanitarian who saw a knit. You'll be back. Welcome back, children. Had another rough night. Here you go, children. Salvation is at hand. Taiwan. God, it is. We best stay back. God damn it! Where are the marshals? They've got their hands full licking their wounds. You're gonna be waiting a while. Back up slowly. Holy mackerel! Better stay back from my stall. Those goddamn Dorsey's dropped a landmine under it. Really? That's great news! Here's a little something for you. I'm back in business. Welcome to the freshly reopened Taiwan Jones's Emporium! You didn't hear this from me, Franz, but word is there's still Dorsey's all around. Ah, you want to hear about the wide open. I have no idea what you're talking about, Franz. Sardine Lee.
I heard we had some new arrivals. Don't take that tone of voice with the Rangers, Lupinski. Or what, Quan? You gonna arrest me? Fine. Fine. What are you? It's the Garden of the Gods. Rocks, experimental farms. And now those fucking Dorseys. Sheriff Daisy say so. Nope. No room for amateurs in this town. Colorado Patriot here, Dorsey's hot scum. off the press. Dorsey's scum. If it's too dangerous for you, Marshals, maybe I should go in there myself. Sheriff Daisy! Sheriff! Miss... Ah, oh, Marshals. Finally. I was beginning to think you... Hold on now. You aren't Marshals. You look like... ruffians. Are you here to see the Sheriff? Well, I'm first. I've been waiting here on tenterhooks for an hour. I... Forgive me. That was unkind. I just... I am under considerable duress. My family has been kidnapped by those no-good Dorseys and... And the Marshals will give me no answers about their situation. They won't even speak to me. I must know how the Sheriff intends to rescue them. And when. That may be, but my family is one of the leading families of Colorado Springs. We have been longtime allies of the Patriarch and supporters of all he stands for. Surely that should be given some consideration. I... I... I suppose not. We are all equal in the eyes of God, as they say. I am just... frustrated. That is all. It doesn't seem that anything is being done. Well, you look capable enough, but I don't know you from Adam. Why, you might be robbers or bandits. No, thanks all the same, but I think I'll continue to wait on the proper authorities. Frustrating though that may be. Sheriff Daisy, I will not leave until you speak to me. We should build some more watchtowers around the garden. Dorsey slipped right. Deputy, how long is the sheriff going to be busy? Bolsom Reese. Well, now you must be the Rangers. I'm the sheriff around here, but you can call me Daisy. Old Saul tells me you're a bunch of badasses, and I ain't one to turn away a badass, especially at a time like this. I reckon you already heard all about the Dorsey raid, so I won't bore you with the details. Suffice it to say, we whooped them good, and the survivors are holed up in the Garden of the Gods with a bunch of hostages. Thing is, I lost a lot of marshals. My boys and girls are tired and beat up. You want to make some fast friends around here? You could go into the Garden and speak to those Dorseys for us. Maybe find out how the hell they got into the city in the first place. And by speak... You mean shoot the everlasting shit out of them and save those hostages, right, boss? Quan, I hear you're some fancy liaison now. Old Saul taking my people without even asking? How dare he? Anyway, yes, you rascal. That's exactly what I mean. 
but question him first, you hear? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. That girl, you think I ain't heard her yapping? But I got a couple of 50 other people yapping at me, too. Tell you what, though. Her people are hundred family folks from the fancy side of town, so they got some pull. You can do me a big favor and kill... In fact, I'm going to insist on it. I need that girl out of my hair. I'll let Lipinski know you're bringing her along. He won't let you into the garden without her. Don't worry. Sh Go in there and kick some ass, Rangers. Hmm. I'm not sure why the sheriff didn't assign me marshals, but, well, beggars can't be choosers. I am the Miss Wesson she spoke of. Lucia Wesson, daughter of Percival Wesson and Maria Reyes of the Hundred Families. As Sheriff Daisy told you, they and some of our neighbors were taken hostage by the Dorseys, and I mean to free them. All of them. So, I am ready when you are. No good traitors, that's what they are. Used to be hundred families. They rebelled against the Patriarch before I was born and were driven from the city. I was always told they were dead and gone. It seems I was misinformed. It's a project of the Ward family, a showcase for their know-how. They grow food there using the latest technologies. Colorado Springs leads the world in science, but there are plenty of places to hide in the garden. The Dorseys could be laying for us anywhere. We shall have to, certainly, my father taught me to shoot almost before I could walk, and I'm the best shot in the city. Oh, it's true. She's a prodigy, all right. Also a pain in the ass. I... No. But I have hunted. There's no need to worry that I will be shy about pulling the trigger. I promise, strangers, if it is to save my family, I will not hesitate. At last. Garden of the Gods is just north of Market Square. Marshal Lupinski should be out front. Taiwan Jones's Emporium. My store has every sardine leaf. as I'd love to shoot the shit with you tryhards. Sheriff Daisy said to let you go on in. So? Marshal Lupinski, 
I expect you to moderate. My apologies, Miss West. I meant no disrespect. No room for amateurs in this town. You hear? No room. at a disadvantage.
Bellamy! Bellamy, look at me! Have you seen my family? Are they here? Lucia? I... I thought you were with your family. Oh, thank God you're not. Thank God. They went up ahead with their hostages, but... Lucia, I heard gunfire and screaming. You need to be ready for the worst. If they've done anything to my people, I'm going to end them all. Please do. I'll tell whatever I can to help. It's not much, but... My name is Bellamy Ward. I'm a scientist. I invented the solar collectors and experimental farms on top of the rocks. I was calibrating the solar arrays when the Dorseys came through here, herding their hostages with them. They're savages. Animals. They beat those people. Last God, no, I was stalling for time. If I had a few hours in the right chemicals, though, I could have prepared quite a surprise for them. The PALs, photon amplification lenses. They harness and focus the ambient light. It's fascinating, actually. They polarize the waves and create constructive interference. Normally, they maintain a stable temperature for the plants, but they can be adjusted to help power the solar collectors or even thaw frozen components. I once coupled a PAL with a dynamic cross-photon matrix. I was trying to cook some bison steaks, but it incinerated the whole fire pit, melted the entire grill. Goes to show what can happen if you put a decimal in the wrong place. I think they took everyone to their camp, just past the Gateway Rocks. What about my family, Belle? Last I saw them, they were all right. They were scared and a little banged up, but you saved my life. I won't forget it. our efforts.
Operational test number, uh, 110. I have adjusted the angle of the solar collectors by 3.12 degrees to remove the energy transmission from the photonic amplification lenses. I've also attached a more sensitive voltmeter to the test panel, so I can hopefully get a more accurate reading of the conversion rate. Everything's set. Here we go. The photon amplification lenses are operating at 60% ambient light, approximately what we would expect on a typical day in Colorado Springs. Checking the voltmeter now. Yes, it's working. Energy storage is 12% above norm. This is better than I hoped. Now, if I can get the storage rate up to 25%, we'll have surplus power running into the batteries each day. For the first time since the deluge of fire, Colorado Springs will have all the electricity it needs. I can't wait to show this to Theo and Megan. They'll be so excited.
Up and at him, ladies.
Adios. Motherfuckers. do nicely.
I'm Isaac Reed. On behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. As proof of our goodwill, I want to tell you that the culprits got into town with help from Farron Brago's organization, and... Isaac, how could you? How could you throw in with these people? How could you let them take my family? Where are my parents and my little brother? They're... They're in the grave you passed on the way here. They didn't suffer, Lucia. I promise. Baby, look. I didn't mean it to go this way. I tried to stop them. I really did. I begged. Stop talking right now. We... We thought we were in the right. The Dorseys promised that we could take down the Patriarch. They didn't say anything about murdering hostages. What about all the other people they killed? Or was that part okay with you, Isaac? It was Neilius Dorsey. He went looking for your family, Lucia. Your family especially. That's why I got you out of your house before the raid. I didn't want anything to happen to you. You didn't want anything to happen to me? So you let savages abduct and murder my family. You knew what they meant to me. You knew what their loss would do to me. But you're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? You're still alive, and that's what matters most to me. He escaped. He took some vehicles and headed west into the mountains. I don't think he was planning to come back. We've been under the Patriarch's boot for 50 years. We say that the Hundred Families are in charge, but it's really just his family. Just him. I know you must think I'm a fuzzy-headed idealist, but this society's sick. It needs to change. Farron Brigo's gang helped them get into town. I don't know how or why. And I overheard Neelius say something about Liberty Buchanan, the Patriarch's daughter. I think... I think she's going to attack Colorado Springs. It sounded like she's gathering an army out in the plains. Something way worse than the Dorseys. I have heard enough. If your betrayal of my family was not sufficient, your treachery here most certainly is. In the name of the Patriarch, I sentence you. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. All I ever meant was to help build a better world for you. For all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. Please don't kill me. Please. A better way? I can't think of one. Not after what he did to my family. You want to let him walk away from what he's done? I have justice right here, in the palm of my hand. I am more than happy to meet it out. I would be delighted to be its instrument. Thank you. Thank you. Come in November 1. This is Ranger HQ. We're getting reports of shooting in your last known location at Garden of the Gods. What's your status? Over. They'll be happy to hear that, Team November, as am I. Good job getting those some bitches. Over and out.
You let Isaac live? After he gave aid and comfort to the enemies of the Patriarch? After he helped them kill my family? You let him live? Why arrest him when you killed all those others? What made him special? I... I... Maybe you have it right. If I value my own personal feelings above the law, then I'm no better than a vigilante. Very well. I accept your decision to let him live. But the people who are truly responsible? Neelius Dorsey and Liberty Buchanan? I will bring justice to their doors. Will you help me find them? You can count on my guns every step of the way. Of course. We should go after Neelius Dorsey first. Isaac said he headed west into the mountains. No doubt he plans to hole up at one of the old resorts from before the bombs fell. I don't think we're ready to face him yet, though. Neelius will be dug in, I expect, and he'll have all his best people with him. He only left behind the expendables in the garden. I thought she said she was gonna follow orders, not give them. For now, we should head back to the sheriff. Jones? Welcome to Taiwan Jones's Emporium! My store has every fin- No. Nope. No. Wish that I did, Franz. Born and raised in Colorado Springs. Sardinely! I... Uh, really? Then who the hell was that in my house? Welcome back, children. Had another rough night? Here you go, children. Salvation is at hand.
When you get to it. That rust trap? Why? Because this was Jimmy Longhall's first cut. Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far? Nah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorsey's dead if they'd walked in my garage. Haven't seen your friends before. If you folks are looking for help with your vehicle, You've come to the right place. Yeah? Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so... Good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands, though. Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. Let's hope you got another career plan. I give it another three months before Pesa leaves you in the dust. And so what if she does? It just means I gotta work harder. Ain't no shame in that. I'm gonna remind you that you said that. No time. Hey, Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time. Understood, brother. They're in bad shape, and I don't have the time or tools to save them. Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got that? These folks are great. Then get started on those patients. Let's round him up and bring him back to Doc Parker. You closed my wound. <laughs> I won't miss staring at my own gods. Still hurts, but way less than it did. Thank you.
What now? Finally. Get started on those patients. Walk again. Feeling better by the minute. You saved my life. What now? Good. Thank you. One sec, though. I know I've asked a lot of you, and I'm grateful for what you've already done. But I need one more favor. See this girl? She was shot in the head, but there's no exit wound. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. If you let me use the facilities at your HQ, I'll... I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Need anything before I get my stuff together? Of course. Let's have a look. Good luck. Rangers, I'd chat. But there's a lot to wrap up before I make my way to your headquarters. Do you ever hear of car gardens? You mean where they grow these fine automobiles for our personal? Is it just me? Martha, it's our friends who helped us save the shop. What can I do for you? We've got some discounts with your name on them. Killed by Dorsey Thugs! Hickey? Family's taken hostage! Either of you ever worry about getting hitched to a pillory? I think we should pull some marshals. What can I do for you, Rangers? <laughs> Don't blink. Reports. The Dorsey raid really... It's on the back of the box. We keep the peace. Thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form. I like you already, Rangers. I asked for a favor, and you came through for me. Not only that, but you sent me Isaac Reed and his traitor friends, all cuffed up and looking pretty. Seems to me that if somebody commits a crime in Colorado Springs, they should face Colorado Springs justice. I'm glad we see eye to eye on that. Some of my marshals weren't so sure about you. Fine. We'll keep it professional. Whatever you want. Now, before I forget, let me introduce you to Hope Emerson. She heard all about you coming to town, and she wants to join up. Ain't that right, Hope? Pleasure's mine, Rangers. Ran the lockup in a little town called Amity on Colorado's eastern border. Figured I could do the same thing for you at your HQ. Assuming you'll be arresting people now and then? Amity got flattened by the scar collectors a while back, so Hope came west. Been trying to get her to join the marshals ever since, 
but she keeps turning me down flat. We uh, have some differences when it comes to crime and punishment. But that aside, she's smart, honorable, and she'd be an asset to your organization. Great. I'll head over to Ranger headquarters in a bit and start fixing up your brig. I can't think of a better way to serve than to ensure that our justice is fair, even to those who transgressed against it. So, back to business. Did you find out how the Dorseys got into town? Well, since you already dealt with Isaac, let's concentrate on Brago. <sighs> I'll never understand why the Patriarch let that rat set up shop here. Been nothing but trouble, so him making a deal with the Dorseys doesn't surprise me in the least. In fact, I had a hunch he might be involved, so I sent my best man over to his nightclub, the Little Vegas, to search for a connection. Haven't heard back from him, though, and I'm a little worried. Say, what if I asked you rangers to go to Little Vegas and check up on him? And if you happen to find proof that Brago helped the Dorseys while you're there, well, feel free to cuff the bastard and haul him in. Take down Brago for me, and I'll make sure your HQ gets the best equipped armory this side of the Rockies. Guns, ammo, armor, the whole shebang. The marshal I sent to the Little Vegas is named Delgado. Family man and the best inspector I've got. Keep them safe, and I'll owe you another favor. Always a pleasure, Rangers.
I think they do with the bodies from the pillars. I heard they got a mass grave just outside the walls. I don't know, man. I swear the last shipment of meat from the bazaar tasted funky. Ooh, well, I don't even want to think about that.
Rangers. <clears throat> this is Gideon Reyes. I'm addressing you from Broadmoor Heights. The Patriarch has made it known that you are in need of logistical support. I can happily make a few calls, speak to a few people. In exchange, I'd like to ask that you hear me out on a proposition. It's not a thing I really do, this ransoming of aid. But these are... I'll be at the church in Broadmoor Heights, and I'll tell the marshals to let you through. Come find me here. Hi, I'm Austin. I'm new. Welcome aboard. Where are you from? Oh, around. Yeah, me too. We all are here. Hope you catch that victory kid soon. Before he hurts somebody. Hey, November. Got a delivery for you. Glad to see you back, Rangers. Cleaned up the worst of the mess in your absence. Now, what can I help you with? Diligent Joe came by with the supplies you asked for. Should help us get on our feet. Happy to tell you what you need to know. I'll be here. Rangers, I mean, uh, it'll take a while. If you need treatment now, well, I think I'm ready for that. Hmm. I brought a few things over from the garage. Not much yet, but...
We're all grateful that you took us in, Rangers. We're cool, right? We're cool. Plenty of space for you. We're pitching in where we can. I hope we've been some help at least. Anything you need? <sighs> Andy. Damn it. How did he... <laughs> Thanks for telling me, Rangers. I'll break it. Sure. Booby traps, mostly. One of my people disarmed an explosive on a door, but missed a gas mine under the floor panel on the other side. I told everyone to avoid the room after that. No one here is worth losing over whatever guns may or may not be in there. We first got into the base through a hole in the archive room's wall. Some critters living in there chased us around, but we may have, we've been trying to snare them for a while for fresh meat, but they just chew through the ropes like they're Sour Patch Kids. Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. <sighs> Rangers! What do you think? Scrub, what can I do for you? I wanted to talk about the prisoner you found when you first... I know you decided to keep him locked up. And I'm not saying you were wrong. I know he's a little unsettling to talk to. But it's oh, not yay! enough Thank to deny uh, him Thank you so much, man. I owe Don't you worry. big... I'm not uh, gonna let him out Real your big safety. time. This won't be the last time you hear from me.